we can write any two-letter vector in terms of single-letter vectors using this result. So the vector a, b can be written as the vector b minus a. And now we're just going to prove that. So if we put here the point o, which is our origin, then you can think of the single-letter vector a as being the vector from o to a, as we discussed previously. And the vector b can be thought of as o b. Okay, so if we want a b being our resultant vector, using the triangle law, we would have to start from a and go to o, followed by o going to b to get the resultant a b. So we would write a b is equal to a o plus o b. And that's from using the triangle law. Then a b is equal to, instead of writing the vector a o, we want to write the vector o a. But when you change the direction of a vector, you must also change its sign. So that's minus plus o b. And that's just from the definition of a negative vector. So a b we're written as, now just rearranging these, but OB minus the vector OA. So the vector AB can be written as, now any vector that starts at the origin can be written as its single letter vector. So that's just going to be the vector B minus, and here it's going to be the vector A. So you've proven that result. So any two letter vector, for example, XY, can be represented as in terms of single letter vectors, so you can have y minus x, or if you had the vector pq, so it's the second letter minus the first letter.